I realized, and I had dropped out of high school to, uh -huh. to do that business full time. Like I, there was no time for school back so you then. You dropped so, out of high school. Oh yeah, I was a high school dropout. And when all was said and done, um, I had money saved up in the bank. I had two cars. Uh, I had, um, you know, but I, but I, I had lost my mentors. Okay. I had lost my mentors. And again, a whole series of events of how that happened, and how yeah. the how the crash and burn. I decided to go back to school. I listened to a an audio program uh, by Dennis Waitley. Okay? Dennis, called I love Se Dennis Waitley. Seeds of Greatness. Okay? I got I got to meet Dennis Waitley in yeah. Orlando one time, he, and also in uh, Cocoa Beach. Yeah, it was an amazing man. His well, books are amazing. Well, his he my uncle had dropped off a um, an audio program, and I didn't know at that time. I'm now, now I'm 19 or 18 yeah. or 19, turning turn 19. I didn't know there was such a thing as like a personal development book that you could read. I didn't know that there were courses you could take. Yeah. I didn't know that there was like a tape that you could listen to. Yeah. I didn't know that any of that existed. I didn't right? either until I kind of got yeah. to Amway. Like really, and, I didn't. And and this again, this didn't really click in my well, mind. Well, you have like, a similar experience because you, at a young age, you were exposed to certain things, right. but a lot of kids aren't, no. and they have no idea that this world exists. So I, I thought they were making all this like <laughs> they were making all this stuff up. Like, and I realized you could read it and go into books. So. Basically, what I got from Dennis Waitley, who was mu a much more sophisticated personal yeah. development, he was a, he's a, he's a doctor, he's a and, master. and he was he had just the, the U.S. had just uh, hosted the Olympics at that time. He would co he, was he was coaching the, the, Olympics, the athletes yeah. in the 80s, and he talked about education and learning, uh -huh. and I never like thought about that, and, and so I decided to go back to school. Yeah. So I went back, got my GED, uh, and and uh, which is a whole other adventure, and then uh, went to community college for one year and transferred to NYU where I graduated uh, honors dean's list every yeah. semester at, at NYU. At dean's list. I'm wow. a university honors scholar, met the president and had a big dinner. My, my yeah. parents came, I, everyone proud and everything. That's so awesome. And so I, I took the knowledge that I learned from my mentors, I applied it to school and, and, and bettering myself, improving myself, right? And mind you, when I went back to school, I was at a 15-year-old reading level. When I went back to school, I was yeah. trying, trying to do college courses. Correct. So I moved back, I moved out to California to go to law school. Yeah. This whole thing where I got to get smart, smart, yeah, smart. Yeah. I'm a, my my self-esteem was I'm So a, yeah. literally having the mentors, yeah. having the motivational books, having these like personal development books motivated you enough to change your life enough to crush it in business at a very young age, then go back to college. Excel in college, move out here thinking you're going to go to law school. Yeah. So now we're from Jersey to California yeah. now. I'm in San, okay. living in San Diego. I'm in law, law school and, and, and happy, happy. I was working during the day and I was going to school at night at yeah, University of San Diego, great school. And I, I started to, uh, the, the guys in my company started asking me to do talks, like, like, like motivational talks to the, to the sales guys, right? Yeah. And I loved it. I, I found my passion again. Like yeah. I said, okay, now I'm smart enough. I've been to law school. Yeah. I don't really want to become a lawyer. I'm just trying to get smarter, and, yeah. I, and I think I can do it. So I started to speak and coach uh, sales, through sales, sales training, sales coaching. That's awesome. uh, and I traveled the world doing that. Did that for 10 years. Traveled the world. Been everywhere yeah. I wanted to go. My bucket list crossed off everywhere yeah. I want to want to visit, and and uh, and coach and and teach and train. Um, and but what I primarily did, you get a kick out of this. What I was primarily doing in my primarily doing in my talks was telling the old stories about the dirt merchant days. And so, great so, story, so I would tell these stories like, and then, and these were white collar, like IBM so types. There's so much truth in it. Yeah. I mean, like so many good And points. so they, they were requesting the stories at the different cities I would go to, you know, can you tell the story about the burning car? Or tell us about the, when you broke the record. Or tell us. So yeah. I'm getting like these requests. So I said, wow, these pretty, people like these stories. Maybe yeah. if I wrote the stories down, they make a good book. Yeah. Somebody would buy the book. Maybe somebody will buy this book someday. And I'm going to make sure if I write this book, it's going to have all the lessons in there that I learned. Yeah. So maybe like a kid could read it and then discover and something. And that's what you wrote it toward. You wrote yeah. it toward like, yeah. so you wrote this book, yeah. The Dirt Merchants targeting young people, yeah. targeting the teenagers. So if anyone's out there listening today, and they can buy this book, right? Yes, it's and on if Amazon. If you, yeah. if you have Amazon. kids, if you have young people, like this is a great gift to like teenagers, Thank young you. adults, people in college. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, to give out as gifts, even with like Christmas coming up and everything. Yeah. A great gift, a simple, another gift to buy. Absolutely. Where it can actually impact a teenager's life or a young person, someone in college. So when we were talking, I think it's like, like 14 to 24, 25 would read, be able to read this book and like laser in on this. Is, yeah, because a Definitely. lot of young people have like read it, you said, and, and have literally impacted their lives. So.